Okay. Dr. Abba, uh, the issue of uh, national identity cards. Uh, my biometrics were captured exactly two years ago, and I'm still waiting for that text telling me that my ID card is ready. I'm still waiting. Two years. Okay, the, the, the ID card one is a bit more uh, problematic. The issue with the ID card is that the National Identity Management Commission simply cannot afford to print the cards. And so we're trying to get away from this idea that uh, you must have a card. The important thing is the identity number, which you already have. Um, so, so each card costs about 2,000 Naira to print. And don't forget that the National Identity Card is free. And so, the, the, although, although the, um, the uh, NIMC uh, is able to capture you and give you your, your identity number uh, immediately, the issue of actually printing the cards is, 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 is one that costs a lot of money, and they simply don't have enough money uh, to print all the cards that, that they need to print. That is the issue with the identity management. Again, we're working with them to see whether it's possible to look at other sources of funding uh, from outside the budget, including asking Nigerians whether they will be willing to, to, to pay to get it, um, because Nigerians happily pay to get a, a, a driver's license, they happily pay to get a passport. Um, you know, is it possible to charge a small token to, to, to be able to get the uh, national identity card? For those that want the plastic card, uh, for those that don't need the plastic card, the, the, the number is sufficient. I don't know about the happily part of it, but uh, yes, um, we, we pay because we're asked to pay. Now, let's go back to the passports. Um, with these reforms, approximately how long would it take for a Nigerian to get a passport after they have paid online? Um, I, I believe that... Um the, the, the passport, the passport uh, service actually says 72 hours, is, is what it says. Um, I've, seen the, I've seen a service standard somewhere that said uh, seven days. But again, there's a, there's a, there's a, a difficulty here because, um, like I said, a 32-page passport is 15,000 Naira and a 64-page passport is 20,000 Naira. Now, um, 18 months, two years ago, your 15,000 Naira was worth about $100. Now your 15,000 Naira is worth only about $30. And so you're having to, to, to cope with uh, production costs against, uh, against the fee that, that, that you charge. Of course, uh, Nigerians would, would, would want to pay what is, a, what is a fair price, and that's why government must think very carefully before talking about any, any increases in, in prices. So we're, 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 we're pleased that the, the Naira is strengthening uh, every day now, and we hope that that would make it easier uh, to, 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 to uh, procure uh, whatever we need to procure internationally to, to make the passports booklets more readily available. That, that is the issue with the passports. There's a delay, but we're, we're working on that. Before I leave that issue, uh, these are all government agencies. Uh, is there any plan to rationalize or harmonize so that we don't have to go and give our biometrics to road safety, then to the passport office, then to... I mean, everybody is taking your, the color of your eye and your fingerprint, you know, at every, at every turn. This, they, can't these all just go into one database so that once they have your fingerprint, they can access this without collecting it every time? Um, Alara, I think that's a very, very good question. And, uh, and it's something that the, the Vice President is actually leading on. There is indeed a project on, on data harmonization. Um, it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that uh, details, detailed information will still not be held in, in relevant agencies, but to make it easier 
to aggregate the data we have so that we're not, we're not duplicating efforts. And I gave you the example of how we're now beginning to link uh, the bank verification number to the payroll system. Uh, we, will, we will similarly be linking the, 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 the national identity card system to that system. So it's, it's, building, it's building gradually where you know, we have a central database of key information uh, about people. Um, uh, so that, you know, like you said, you don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to go through a capturing system over and over again. That is what countries like the U.S., do with the social security number. That's what countries like the United Kingdom do with the uh, uh, national insurance number. Um, so, you know, government is able to um, at least have a database that can draw information from various databases, um, if not having, having one huge gigantic database. So, yes, that work is currently on the way. <laughs> Dr. Abba, you, uh, I'm sure you understand the sentiment of many Nigerians. I mean, the Bureau of Public Service Reforms was established in 2004. You, uh, you haven't been there since then as a helmsman. But Nigerians are concerned that since 2004, they've heard about reforms in the public service, and it's not there. And many a question. So permit me to just read a couple of the questions that have been set in here. Festus Akimboewa says, we are not seeing transparency and accountability in our public services. We're still seeing flawed recruitment processes. Um, Abel says, recently it was reported that there are no passport booklets unless you go to Abuja. And that is, what about the NPAR volunteers? Most of them are yet to receive their stipends for three months now. And all of this is, all of this is a part of the public service. So how do you expect Nigerians to believe in any word called reforms when many of them are not seeing transparency and accountability? That's what they're asking. Um, Nilta, I think it's important to, to, uh, to, to start with definitions. What is reform? Reform is, is, is getting something from one state to a better state. And so, and so when people ask, oh, you know, uh, how long is it going to take? And when are we going to see these reforms? Reforms are continuous. Reforms are happening. They are still happening in developed countries. It doesn't matter where in the world you go. Uh, reforms are continuous and will continue to, to happen because there will continue to be problems that need to be addressed. And you've mentioned some of them, problems with, uh, 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 you know, uh, recruitment into certain agencies. Yes, you know, th that, that it will be uh, dishonest to, admit, to, to deny that one has similarly heard such, uh, such allegations. And when there are things, to, when there are things going wrong, um, the job of the reform effort is to try and fix it. And that's why we've listened to Nigerians with regards to the issues of passports and driver's license and, and identity management and tax clearance and the delays in seeing a doctor. All of these things will always be there. Um, we, we, we are unlikely to get to a situation where there is nothing to reform. So, so yes, the, the, the challenges that exist uh, is the reason why we exist, is the reason why we need to exist to ensure that uh, those, those, those challenges are fixed. Um, it is not true at all that uh, we're not seeing transparency in, in government business. That is not at all true. Um, it, you can say that uh, we want to see more, more transparency and I'll, I'll happily uh, accept that. But, you know, things like our budgeting system is a lot more open. Uh, we're a lot more transparent in the way that uh, we, 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 we budget. We're a lot more transparent in the way that money is spent. We're pushing the Freedom of Information Act and indeed my, my bureau. We'll have to take, the uh, in the country we'll to have to have take a moment control. and go on a quick break. But when we come back, you were quoted as saying we have a 10-year plan for reforms we're following. We'll talk about that in a moment. Please do not go away. <laughs> 